What's going on, people? It's your boy, Mr. On Point. And today, I have a review for you of something wonderful that once it's gone, you'll probably never see it again. But it's a review of a Lucky Charms Frosted Flakes mashup. Now, I have my reservations, and I'll tell you why later. But let me just talk about cereal in general. The way that people normally become acclimated to certain cereals is based purely on their childhood. What cereal did your mother or father buy you? Were they cereals that were sweetened? Did they not have sweeteners and you had to add stuff to it? Did you have a family that was very health conscious and added fruits and vegetables to your non-sweetened cereal? Or were you just in the gutter eating the sweetest of the sweet, sugariest of the sugar cereals? So for me personally, two of my childhood cereals are the epitome of this is too much sugar. Lucky Charms and Frosted Flakes. And lo and behold, I'm walking around in Walgreens and I see this lovely box of cereal with my favorite two cereals mashed together. I had to try it. Now, I have to point something out about this cereal. All right. I, I don't know if y'all can see, but the words trap are very big on this box. Bigger than Lucky Charms and bigger than Frosted Flakes, the two cereals that this entire box epitomizes. And then there is a purple house, purple and pink house right next to the word trap with pictures of unicorns on it that says free unicorn rise. Now, I don't know how often in the lore uh, people have tried to trap leprechauns. But to me, it really seems to parallel uh, two chains, the pink house that he made, the trap house. I don't know why I feel like this design is trying to tap into the culture, but it's really odd. I mean, it says free unicorn rides right there on the box. And in the context of animals, a unicorn has to be like a Bentley or something. I mean, an elephant will probably be like a, a Land Rover, maybe. I don't know. But a unicorn is definitely something exotic. So, I just want y'all to know that about that design. It's really weird to me. Uh, and the trap. Oh, y'all thought I was hiding. Oh, mm, milk. <laughs> milk is here. <laughs> you feel me? We just got the box in the way. But I want y'all to see the back. It has like this big mushroom. I don't know. To me, it feels like tapping into drug culture too. I just don't know. I mean, a lot of people say that these subliminal messages that all of this marketing and designs create. I don't know. Y'all tell me how you feel about it. Am I being overly paranoid about the design of this cereal? Or is there potentially something to some possible subliminal messages that they have on here? Now... I have to talk about some things that are very important to me when it comes to cereal, okay? Um, ah, my neck pop. Ah. The first one is cereal flavor profile. That's the first one. Does the cereal that I'm about to eat actually match what it says the flavor of it is? Now, we don't have to worry about this with Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms isn't a flavor. You can do whatever you want. You can call something Lucky Charms and flavor it however you want to. Same for Frosted Flakes. They are literally just flakes of corn that are frosted. They can do that. But if it's strawberry cereal or a berry type cereal or a honey nut or a honey oat or a vanilla or a cinnamon, I need it to taste like what it's supposed to taste like. What you're telling me it tastes like, does it taste like that? Now, we don't have to worry about this for that. But in my future reviews, that is a very important part of it. Uh, the next one is going to be milk soakability. Now, I know that there are probably technical terms for what that is. How quickly uh, the liquid uh, or the, uh, the food absorbs the liquid. Don't care. Milk soakability is what I'm calling it. How quick does your cereal get soggy? So when you're talking about uh, Fruity Pebbles... They get soggy very fast. If you're talking about checks, I don't think checks has ever been soggy by the time I finished the bowl. And I'm not a fast cereal eater, to be honest. So 
those two um, are important. That goes into cereal mouthfeel. Okay? So, what is the cereal doing to my mouth? Like, because at a certain point, for Fruity Pebbles, for example, by the time you get a spoonful of Fruity Pebbles in your mouth, half of them are soggy, half of them are crunchy. So, it kind of gives this little off-putting feel sometimes. Or, uh, Honey Smacks. Honey Smacks has that little, like, corn thing in it, the same thing that being popcorn. So sometimes when you eat it, you got these other little extra bits floating around in your mouth. Or uh, Captain Crunch, which is notorious for scratching up the roof of your mouth. And it's not the only cereal that does that, but it's the one that gets all the flack for it. So cereal mouthfeel, how does it feel in your mouth? How does the crunch go? How much crunching do you have to do? I mean, can you watch TV while you're eating cereal? Because some cereal you can't because all the crunching that you're doing is obstructing your ability to hear anything, okay? Down to our very last, but the most important trait for me. If you know me by now, you know that me and milk have some kind of special relationship going on. You know what I'm saying? So, milk flavor potential. That is the final one. What does this cereal do to your milk? Does it make it chocolatey? Does it make it fruity? Does it make it sweet? I mean, are there bits of cereal left in the milk that you can't really get with the spoon? Because every time you try to scoop them out, they just keep floating all over the place. Fruity Pebbles again. You know, so you have to drink the cereal with the milk at the end. I don't know. Like, what does your cereal make the milk taste like? And that's important to me. Because I really like milk. And I like for my milk when I eat cereal to be delicious. I like for my milk to take on different forms every now and then. I drink strawberry milk. I drink chocolate milk. I drink vanilla milk. I drink banana milk. I drink sweet cereal milk. I drink chocolate cereal milk. I, I, I drink berry cereal milk. I drink regular milk. If, if it doesn't flavor the milk at all, I drink regular milk after I eat my cereal. I, I love milk. But the flavoring that the cereal gives the milk it's just a different layer of enjoyment for the cereal. Because sometimes I choose my cereal based on how it's going to make my milk taste. Sometimes I choose my cereal based off of the flavor profile that I want at the moment. Sometimes I choose my cereal based off of not des my desire not to chew and crunch and have my mouth destroyed. You know, and so it just creates a lot of different variables as to how I choose cereal. But that being said... This is what's going to go into the review. I need to understand how this cereal tastes. And I'm going to hold my reservations from it until I get to this point, okay? Until I eat the cereal and know where I'm at with it. Now, let's open up the box. Lucky Charms has always been one of my favorites. I just really can't believe they got free unicorn rides on this thing. I really can't believe it. Now... I'm going to do something. I'm going to take the whole bag out. Because I do want to see the corn cereal to marshmallow ratio. And I'm not happy about this. I literally feel like I'm counting like 20 marshmallows. And I know in a box of Lucky Charms... There are a ton more marshmallows than this. I don't know which part is the top and which is the bottom. I think this is the top. I don't think I'm happy with the cereal to marshmallow ratio. Now, before I get into pouring this cereal, let me just say that the reason that Frosted Flakes are delicious is because they found the best way to sweeten those corn chips that they have with sugar. They found the best ratio, the best type of sugar to use, the best type of frosted flake to use, and the best sugar to use with that. They found that combination. It works. Frosted flakes are delicious. The reason that Lucky Charms work is because they found the best sweetness to marshmallow ratio. They found a way to sweeten those oat clusters, not clusters, but oat cereal with the sweetness of the marshmallow, and it works. It's perfect. If you had a bowl of Lucky Charms with too many of the oat cereal, it just won't be right. 
But it also wouldn't be right if you had ones with too many of the marshmallows. They are a perfect balance. And I can tell you right now that I've had plenty of Frosted Flakes. And these don't look right. These Frosted Flakes don't look right. And I can tell they don't look right. And I think I know why. Because in this pack right now, I'm seeing all of the marshmallow dust that's behind here. The, you know, when you empty out the end of a Frosted of a, a Lucky Charms bag. All that little marshmallow dust that fall on top of it. I think it's miscolored the Frosted Flakes. So they look slightly different. I am not happy that there's not a lot of mushroom <laughs> marshmallows in this. I know y'all hear all that crackle crackle from the bag. My shotgun mic is amazing. I can't do nothing about it. I'm not going to pour that many. You know what? I'm trying to get a good rep representation. All right. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think that is a good marshmallow ratio, actually. I think that's a pretty good marshmallow ratio. I'm not going to get marshmallows in every bite, but it's a good, pretty good ratio. Now, uh, I'd like to introduce y'all to a friend of mine. Milk. People. People. Milk. Don't be shy, milk. Don't be shy. You always, you always tripping Milk don't always co cooperate when we have guests, so. That's neither here nor there. We're here for cereal. Now let's do this. All right. They don't smell right. They don't smell like Frosted Flakes or Lucky Charms. I don't think I like that. And they don't look like Frosted Flakes. They look like corn flakes. Once the milk hit them, they look exclusively like corn flakes as if they aren't sweetened in the same measures that they normally sweeten by. I eat Frosted Flakes way too much. I know these don't look right. And I don't know why. I guess whoever created these got to. I ain't even ate a marshmallow yet. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I don't like it at all. It's just not good. But I'ma eat them. Now I just wish I would not have poured this many. <laughs> but I do like a wide range of cereal though. I like Honey Smacks, Frosted Flakes, Lucky Charms. I like some peanut butter cereal. I like peanut butter Captain Crunch. I like the peanut butter Reese's. Hmm, I don't know that. Alexa, ain't nobody asked you now. I like, I do like Fruity Pebbles now. I really like Fruity Pebbles. I found out the secret to Fruity Pebbles. With Fruity Pebbles, you have to use half the milk that you use in a regular bowl of cereal in order for them to work because if you submerge them in cereal they all just get soggy you got to pour enough cereal at the bottom for you to mix the crunchy with the soggy because it's, you, they, they get soggy fast and then they can do about them but use half the milk that you normally use and fruity pebbles make sense now i know i'm talking but these have gotten soggy far faster than any other cereal. Not any other cereal. These have gotten soggy faster than um, Frosted Flakes. <laughs> Memes. These are not good. I have a theory as to why. We'll talk about it in a minute. This is where you get your part. Where you got to be fishing out all the little cereal out of the out of the bowl. Like, uh oh, uh oh, got my spoon. I'm gonna catch it. I'm gonna catch it. Oh, gotcha. 
But you can't get a whole scoop no more now. That's over. I'm at the end. I will reiterate. I do not like this cereal. But I got to get all the mouthfeel results. I got to get my milk deliciousness potential. Uh-oh, here we go. Video stop for a second. Almost done. All right. Let's do this. So, cereal flavor profile don't make a difference with this cereal. But I have to say, it does not taste good to me. My theory is that they're using either a completely different corn chip than they use with Frosted Flakes or they don't make them the same way that they make the Frosted Flakes. Because if you look at a Frosted Flake by itself, you can see a white coating of sugar on it. It's just there. When you eat it, it tastes like it's infused with, with the corn. It doesn't feel that way with these cereal. They don't even look like they have that infused sugar on the top of it. So I imagine what they did was in order to reduce the amount of sugar that the cereal has, has is in order to not increase it, they wouldn't just mix sweet Frosted Flakes with sweet marshmallows. They probably reduced the sugar on the corn chips and are letting the marshmallow sugar carry it. And it don't taste nothing like Frosted Flakes because of that. And marshmallows by itself with just these corn cereal don't even taste good. It's not a good combination. So the flavor profile, even though there is no expectation in terms of the name being something connected to a flavor, in terms of what I'm used to as it pertains to that flavor, it's not there. Okay? It's gone. It's not. It don't taste like Frosted Flakes, and it don't taste like Lucky Charms, and the combination of it, it's just not pleasing to me. This seems to be a nostalgic cash grab for people who like Lucky Charms and like Frosted Flakes. Uh, but I don't know what will make it a cash grab because it's not like people would buy a box of this and Frosted Flakes or a box of this and Lucky Charms. They would just buy this. So you'd make money if this didn't exist. But I guess for some people who believe that it's amazing, go for it. Uh, cereal mouthfeel. So... The cereal didn't feel like Frosted Flakes. And that this is a part of my theory as to why they're using a different chip or a different measure. One, they don't look like the chip, these uh, corn cereal that come with Frosted Flakes. They're not coated properly. Number two, I think because they're not coated properly, that the milk is soaking into it faster. Because I eat Frosted Flakes all the time and they don't get this soggy this fast now over time frosted flakes do lose the sugar from the cereal but not this fast and because it got so soggy it impacted what i expected from a cereal that has frosted flakes on it it's not the same so my theory is that they they did they, they these are not how they make regular frosted flakes um they just took the Frosted Flake corn cereal part and mixed it up with the marshmallows and they're using the sweetness from the marshmallows to carry the cereal. Hence, not doing everything that they would normally do to make a Frosted Flake. Uh, and I imagine that's the cheaper way to do it. Probably faster too because it would be hard to just make a whole batch of less sweetened marshmallows and the marshmallows might not even taste right after if you don't sweeten them. I don't know. Marshmallows are essentially just sugar so I imagine that they have to have a certain amount of sugar in uh, that being said, and milk flavorability, um, the milk didn't taste bad because one, I love milk and it was just sweetened by marshmallows, which is essentially what's at the end of Lucky Charms. But I didn't just didn't realize that the oat 
and marshmallow combination in Lucky Charms is what carries it so deeply. It's not the marshmallows. The marshmallows have nothing to do with it. It carries it. Um, the oat cereal carries the marshmallows. The marshmallow don't carry the oat cereal. And I'm learning that from this because the marsh I could do without the marshmallows in this. Marshmallows was just there to be there. And so it flavored the milk, but from marshmallow sweetness. And while it was good because I love milk, it didn't taste familiar. So ultimately, at the end of the day, to me, this is a fail. Okay? You might like it because it's cereal. But if you love Frosted Flakes and if you love Lucky Charms as much as I love uh, Frosted Flakes and Lucky Charms, you're not going to like this. You're not going to like this at all. That's what we'll do with that box. We will not buy that again. And I'll let you try it next time and let me know how you feel about it. But everybody, let me know what your favorite cereal is. Why is your favorite cereal? And leave me that comment. Subscribe to this channel. And rate this video whether you liked it or not. I appreciate you for spending a few minutes with me. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Holla.